That's what happens when you record your audio separately. Whoa. Hello there, welcome back to this amazing show. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how to move your animations inside a So let's say you did your animation. Let's say this is my animation, I'm very happy with it. But I realize that my animation here is a bit off screen and I want this to be in the center. What you usually do, you might, oh, I can just move my animation, because why not? So you got your current transform to over here, you grab your animation over here, you move it over here to the center. Let's say this is the center. Let's say that. And you're like, oh, wait, it moves, so I move my animation. Good. Let's just play this now. Did you do? Did you really move your animation? I don't think so. So I'm going to show you how you can actually move your whole animation with all of, the, all of these frames here at the same time. So let's uh, get into it. A little go. I wanted to buy a Super Mario head just because you know I want I like Super Mario and uh, I didn't didn't buy it. I bought another hat. I will show it in, in some other video. Anyway, my animation here sucks because it doesn't quite move in the play place I want it to be moved. So I'm gonna hit Control Z and we're gonna go back to the initial uh, position. So if you're completely new and you're watching this and you're like, what the hell is this what we're talking about? Well, I have animation on this layer. I haven't named my layer. I um, can call my layer animation. So when you make <laughs> when you make layers in Quixote, you can make animations on those layers. So in this case, this is my frame by frame animation. This is my frame by frame animation. It basically built on different frames. On those different frames, we have drawings. I mean, duh. Now, when I move the first frame, because technically that's what I did, it moved only the first frame, except those. They stay in the same place. Now, you can move them separately the same way I showed you. You can, let's say, enable your onion skin. You try to adjust the position. That takes time. And imagine we have more frames than, than, than we have here. It's plain in the ass, as they say. So, let's not do that. There's another way you can move your whole animation with your whole layer over here. Oops. So I'm gonna uncheck the onion skin and how to move this rabbit flower sack bag thing. Well, uh, you need to go to your animation layer. In my case, I just named this animation. You go to your animation layer with the animation. You click the right button on your mouse or your pen. That is how you set that up. And then you go to add. On the add button, on the add menu, on the drop down here, you will go to transform mask. I'm gonna click here and it will pop up another layer that's beneath your animation layer. So all you need to focus now is on that simple transform mask one layer. You're gonna move this layer instead of your animation layer, instead of this layer. Because if you move this layer, you're gonna move you're gonna start moving your frames and you don't want to move your frames separately. So you have to move your transform mask layer. I have to make a note, this will not work on the previous versions of Critter, you need to have Critter 5. In order to have Critter 5, right now we have the better version of Critter 5. You can find that in the, in the link in the description. Uh, and you, ha you, you will be able to add that transform mask and you will be able to move your, um, your animation. So I'm on my transform mask layer, which is basically a mask on uh, my animation layer. And it gets everything that's on that animation layer. So the same thing I will do, I will go to my, my transform layer, um, my transform tool, there we go, and I will make sure that I select my transform mask, and it doesn't matter which frame we are on, you see that tra the transform mask layer already appears in the timeline, but I'm going to click on the character itself, which is the transform mask layer here, and I'm going to move the character, or you can have any other animation for that matter, and then I'm going to move here in the center, let's say this is the center, right? If I play this now, ah, magic will happen, and uh, you you will tell me thank you, I guess. I don't know. Like, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, uh, basically that's how you move your whole animation without actually moving the separate uh, frames in that animation. It's that simple. But then again, you need to have the crystal better blah blah blah. blah. The crystal better five. The crystal five better version. I don't know how many numbers they will add, but as a recording of this video, that's how you do this. And, and uh, any other version of Crypto, which is below the fifth version, which is 
uh, you will probably have Krita 4.8, Krita 4, Krita 3, Krita, I, I don't know how many Kritas there are there, but, uh, but they won't have that function in there, I think. You, I mean, before I couldn't move my animation, so I had to find another way to do it, and that I did, but it was a bit different, and now we have, now, now we can do this, which is simply adding it to the scroll mask to the layer that we want to move and everything inside of that layer, and that's how you do it. You're welcome. Um, yeah, I can move this anywhere else. Shut up, rabbit. Uh, yeah, I can move there, and it can jump there. Great, I hope it's great. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you like this video, uh, by liking this video, or disliking this, I, 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 I don't care. Subscribe for more, or unsubscribe for less, I guess, I don't know. I, uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, uh, I might, but, but, sorry, Toby, Toby, this is Toby. Um, I will be, either I will answer your question or someone else after they see this video, after they have their ears, and they will be like, oh yeah, I have a solution to your problem. But, you know, you never know when. <laughs> so, when someone will help you out in the comments. But leave your comment, um, and uh, I will see you in the next one. So, thank you again, bye. Yeah, bye. Cheers. Just and buy, that's how you, I, I, I need to stop talking. Right?